Welcome everyone to tableauinfo.com and today we are going to discuss about row level security. In fact, this is our second session. During our first session, we discussed about row level security filter. How we can decide who can see what by applying a type of filter. But then this was for small and constant set of users or groups to manage with less number of workbooks. So we are going to go one level up today and we'll talk about a scenario where you can have if you for where we follow the same instructions or the same steps that we did during our first video that would blow up our extract how you can see over here here we have uh, one fact row that would join to a security table and you can see there are four managers with respect to one location or say one region uh, say central so if we try to join this very particular fact with this very particular security table, then you can see for one fact row, we have four, uh, four output rows because we are joining this with this table, with the security table where we have four different managers for the same region. So if you have eight, do eight. If you have 16, into 16. And remember, you, have, you will have different region as well. So, south, east, west. Now imagine the volume of data that you are having that is really not recommended so today we'll try to learn one method one way that would work for you and we can avoid this multiplication of rows each row of data accessed by a group so each row of this data is technically aligned to a group so if there are multiple managers with respect to one region we should have that very particular field here that field would be state so for each region, we have multiple states and these managers are representing those states. So we should have that very particular field with us within our data source. So we have multiple managers per region. We should have state in each host. That is how only you can uh, successfully create this sort of user level security. We are going to use is member of uh, function. So I'll show you. Uh, during our demo so is member of group name that means you are member of that it, it is going to, it is going to check that whether you are a member of that uh, very particular group or not that statement so first of all you go and create uh, different groups like california managers new york managers after that you'll have to click on those groups and you'll have to add the managers in the respective uh, states groups i think that that is quite easy to do and after this would be your first step and after that we'll see the magic of is member of <laughs> okay so let us go to the demo let me try with this one okay so let us go Let us click on cities. Now I belong to the region central and to the state California. Oh, California will not, not come in central, but I belong to the state California. So that means that I have added myself to California managers group. So if I create a user level filter with the help of this member of, let us see how it works. So maybe I would uh, go back to here. So let's talk about user level filter calculation. So if is member of California managers, then if the state is equal to California, then one at zero and else it, so, it, so technically what I have done over here is I belong to California manager and one of uh, one of the user is under New York managers. So I'll show you one by one, one for me and one behalf of the user say A, user A is under New, you know, you know, New York managers and I am under California managers. So this is the calculation. It's pretty simple. It will check uh, whether you are part of this group or not. And after that, if you are part of that group and state, then it would throw one. 
so most all the time i would select one now you can see i with my user login can see all the different cities within the state california so let me go to the other work heat where I have something else for you. Okay. Let me check, check the third one. So all the worksheets are having my uh, username only. So I'll not be able to show you that but you, you got my point, right? So when you tag someone else to New York managers, then when you come back and if, and if you, are a, you are an admin at the bottom where your name is getting displayed, just click on uh, the down arrow and after that select that very particular person. And after that, you will see the states with respect to that very particular crow. So you will see New York. Last but not the least, what if you have executive growth? For example, let us come out of this regional states, regional cities. An executive of a company would like to see statistics with respect to all the regions. There should be no security or secured access for him in terms of restricted access. He should be able to see everything. So in those cases, when I say executives, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm talking about uh, VP, senior, senior VP. So you know what I mean. So in that case, you are going to create a new group, executives. Add the executives to this very particular group by clicking on executive and after that adding people after that you will have to make use of this calculation so there is a slight modification over there as you can see let me go back so the slight modification is if is member of executives then one else if rest of the part is same as you would have already seen so that means that if you are a member of executive then one then no need of going to filter on the states you are going to see everything basically so basically your view would be like this you, you would see everything but then there is no one within my executive group so that's why and I have not created any uh, users in that very particular group so I, I could not I cannot show you but you know what I mean so, so try this you you add someone to the executive and after that when you when you come to this very particular filter and if you log in as an executive then you would see your, your view would be like this you'll be able to see each and every region over there so i think i'm done with the user level security part two and we'll meet again i have a plan to create a third video where we will see enterprise level solution because still if you see there are advantages yes you will not see duplication of rows your data volume will, will be controlled now but still if you see you'll there is a lot of manual work with respect to creation of groups the the coding part where you are manually writing if and else statement so we'll try to do something better in our next video so i'm going to meet you again and uh, do subscribe to 
uh, the video channel you can always come to my home page tableinfo.com on the right hand side there is a shortcut to youtube video and you can have lots of uh, free material as well in terms of workbook if you want to practice so see you again uh, have a nice day bye bye